Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday. Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? I'm chilly. It's so <laughs> cold outside. <laughs> I don't know. We talk about the weather so much because here in the spring in Nebraska, it's a little chilly. I know this wind that's coming on in today. Yeah. It's been kind of a surprise, but I hope yeah. it's going to warm up by the end of the week. Do you have big plans for the weekend? Not as of right now, I'm working on actually an Ohio star quilt right now yes. for my good friend Tyler. So yes. I'm, I'm really excited to get started. And what did you learn about this quilt? Well, I've been pressing my seams flat, which has been yes. very, you know, to, in the middle, not, I've, yes. not to one direction or the other. And so I'm, yes. Pressing them open. Pressing them open, that's the word I'm looking for. So your blocks you. will lay flat. Good exactly. Job. Yeah. Good so job. We're, we're getting better. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's a learning curve, right? Exactly. So good yeah. for you. Love good to be along you. for the ride. <laughs> all right. Where is everybody watching from? Okay. First of all, Sue is from South Dakota and she said they got two inches of snow. I'm oh sorry, gosh. Sue. And Jackie says she has her favorite beverage. Um, so one day we, we should make that the question of the day is what's your favorite beverage while you watch AQ Live? Oh yeah. Um, Caroline is watching from West Bend, Bend Virginia and Julie's watching from Orlando. Thanks for watching for, uh, with us today. All right, here are the newest projects from our countdown video. First, we have this really pretty quilt from Julie S. Quilty from Julie. Wow. Okay, Emily, what's the dye in there? Okay, I see the blazing star around the corner, mm -hmm. around the edging. And then, what did she use in the middle there, Pam? I feel like she used squares and strips. I feel like she did. It's beautiful. So pretty. I wonder, Julie, if this is a quilt of valor. It could be, yeah, with those beautiful, the eagle's yeah, wings. I think so. It's gorgeous. Think it's pretty. Next up, we have this beautiful tumbler quilt by Karen P. So she used our smaller tumbler die, which is great. We have three sizes of it, mm -hmm. uh, three, four, and six. And then she just added beautiful borders. It's mm -hmm. darling. I wonder if it's a baby quilt. Oh, it could be. Could be. Last, we have this beautiful quilt from Robin B. Okay, Emily, what die did she use? That's the Storm at Sea, and I just got that die, and I'm so excited to use it. This is a great die because you don't always have to make the Storm at Sea lock, yeah. which is exactly what Robin did, and it's stunning. Yeah, it really is. I love it. All right, quilters, don't forget to pick up the Grandmother's Fan die. We have limited stock. And it is our die to try for the month of March. And Tuesday, we're launching a new die to try. Mm -hmm. So make sure you pick up Grandmother's Fan. I'm actually making a um, Christmas present with this oh, out fun. of this time. All right, today is all about getting ready for Easter with some really fun Easter masks. And we have this really fun Easter bunny table topper. Um, really fun, easy, quick projects. Okay, here is my photo of the day. Um, this is a couple of years ago. This is Oakley dyeing Easter eggs. So at our house, um, forever, we have colored Easter eggs. And I learned, Emily, that even though I made the same amount of eggs thinking Taylor and Oakley would share, that is not true. Oh, dear. They do not share eggs to color. So um, we always color Easter eggs. Do you have an Easter tradition? I used to color Easter eggs. We used to have this really cute little kind of wooden tree that we would hang the egg have ornaments a tree. on. Yes. Dude, that was my favorite. And I used to just like change around the arrangements all the time and kind of, oh, it was there you all right, so the question of the day is, do you have an Easter tradition? Put it in our comment section. We would love to hear what you're doing here in Easter and in the spring. It is Wednesday, March 30th. Oh, hey, huge happiest birthday to my brother, Dean, who's watching our show today. I won't tell you how old he is, but he is older than I am. Uh, but we have a promo as well. We have 35% off your order. Use that code SPRING35. Mm -hmm. Plus, if you spend more than $100 or more, you can take up to 41% off your order. No code required for that. So use that Spring 35, fill your cart. If it's more than $100, you'll get an extra discount, which sure is super will. fun. All right, to make our little bunny mask today, I'm going to show you in just a second. We're giving away the Go Eye Mask die. Ooh. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering, you'll receive event emails, and that way you're never going to miss an exciting tutorial or a really fun show. Emily is going to announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. All right. 
be sure to register for our spring into quilting sweepstakes. Um, if you, for any of our live events, including our Wednesday events and our special events, to be entered into weekly drawings of $100 in AccuQuote reward points, plus earn the chance to win $500 in AccuQuote reward points as well. That's our grand prize winner. The sweepstakes runs through April 26th, so make sure you're registering for our shows. All right, let me show you this super cute little fun bunny mask that I made. Look at how fun this is. Um, I use the Go Eye Mask die and a few others like circles and flower power and holiday accessories. So this is really cute. You have a couple of options we'll talk about when you finish your eye masks. Um, if you want to, um, I have some other options to, to how to hold them. You could use sticks and some other stuff. We'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is cut an eye mask. And this is one of our, this is not our die. This is our circle die. Here's our die. <laughs> All right, so this is the eye mask die. We released it here not too long ago, and it's just great. We get, um, when we had the launch, you can watch that video. We gave you some really great ideas on to fill it with like um, rice, so you could heat it or cold, right? Yeah, yeah. make yep. it a little purse or something like that. Yes. So cool. And one of my favorite things to cut of all times is craft foam. So here is some craft foam. It's available at big box craft stores and it's super inexpensive and you can only cut um, one layer at a time. So I'm gonna show you how that we cut our eye mask. I'm gonna tell you the first thing I did was I cut one out of paper because then we're gonna use our circle die right here to make the circles for the eye mask, to cut out the eyes. So what I'm gonna do, and Emily, we get this question a lot, can you cut paper with your dies? You sure can. You sure can. It's not like scissors where they're blades that are rubbing against each other, mm -hmm. okay? So I just have one layer of cardstock, okay? And um, I'm gonna tell you to cut a test one and here's why, mm -hmm. okay? Jackie's so sweet, Pam. She asked how Reba's doing. Oh, how is Reba doing? Reba is still in her car. Reba's hanging out. I, I have, I know y'all are keeping me honest. Yes. <laughs> but I swear I will get her out this weekend. We'll give her a test run. <laughs> there you go. Those important questions. Exactly. All right. So now I'm going to cut one out of craft foam in just a second, but I'm going to show you how to um, mark your die so you can cut out the eyes. Yeah. Okay, so I purposely cut one out of craft foam. And then what I did was I folded it in half. Okay, because it's just paper, mm -hmm. right? So I knew where my circle was. And then because I wanted it to kind of be in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I folded it here. Mm -hmm. And then what I did was I, I can lift up the paper and see where that circle is, and that looks exactly where I want it to be, all right? So what I did was, then I used painter tape. Oh, this is my pro tip of the day, okay? Use painter tape, it's not gonna damage the foam on your dies, okay? And I marked where the mask should go, and I knew that it should come in the center, right where the nose is. And then remember our dies are only gonna cut where there's fabric and a mat. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I put painter's tape here so I knew this is where I was gonna put my mat down. Sure. So it and then it's not gonna cut this other circle. Yes. I know, it's super cool, okay? So cut one out of cardstock first and then I'm gonna cut a blue one today because they're fun, okay? And again, I usually only do one layer of craft foam and you're all gonna ask me what it's called. It's called Little Makers. I just got it at the craft store, okay? And this is a great project for kids for the spring or for Easter as they're getting ready. You know, maybe you're waiting around, you know, having people over beforehand for Easter dinner. Absolutely. Yeah, this would be a, a fun before dinner and then everybody could wear their masks at Easter dinner. Oh, they could wear their bunny <laughs> masks. Oh, please take pictures. 
How would please you take pictures and show them to us. Yes, please. Tag Yaki okay. Quilt. <laughs> okay, I'm trying really hard not to make a huge mess on here. I have my hot glue gun already hot for me, okay? So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line up the top of my eye mask with this tape, because that's how high I want it to be, and then I'm gonna line it up right here in the middle, because mm -hmm. I want it to be on the bridge on the nose, okay. and then for sure, for sure, I'm gonna come right here where this tape is, and that's where I am gonna stop. So then it's gonna cut the circle behind it. All right. Okay? And here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna hold it till it goes through the cutter. Perfect. Look at this. I know you're all wondering if it worked. Ta-da! Then I'm going to do the, I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. I tried when I first did this to fold it in half, mm -hmm. but then it makes a crease in the craft foam. Okay. Okay. So sense. I'm going to line it up just like I did before. Find the bridge of that nose, line this up straight. But this is the most crucial part, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that it's coming right to here. Okay, and it looks like Stacy's wondering, Pam, did the blades ever get dull on the uh, need sharpening on uh, these dies? No, they never get dull. You're gonna get thousands of cuts. Mm -hmm. Look at how fun that was. And I'm gonna <laughs> save my little circles, okay? Because I cut craft foam a lot. Um, no, you're gonna get thousands of cuts out of those blades. What's gonna wear out is your cutting mat. Mm -hmm. So you wanna flip it and turn it and flip it and turn it all right, to get all the good use out of it. When it stops cutting cleanly, that's when you want to replace your mat, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so these are the first two dies I've used. Now, we have this great die called Flower Power by our good friend, Sarah Vedler. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way here. Oh my gosh, when I was making these, I was having such a great time. Um, this is perfect for bunny ears. Now, Emily, this, we have really, really low stock on this dye. It's called Flower Power. So today, if you want to get it, it's part of that Spring 35, right? It sure is. Yeah, today it's only $38.99, but that's 35% off. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, and so I'm going to take my little bunny ears. I'm going to make them a different blue because I can. Oh, gosh. I knocked a bunny over. No bunnies were hurt on the set today. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna lay one layer of craft foam down here. All right, and I'm gonna use my big mat. You can subcut your craft foam if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using my go big today, so it doesn't really matter. And look at this, it doesn't really matter about lengthwise grain, right? Because it's just craft foam. All right. So I can, because my go big is wider, I can turn it that direction. Absolutely. Yep, that There's one bunny time. ear. Yes. And I'm gonna move it right here and get two bunny ears. And then I'm gonna cut my little ones out of gray. All right, Emily, tell me why I'm cutting things. What are people's Easter traditions? Yes, we've got some really, really great ones. Okay, so this is so cute. Um, Katie says that they plant jelly beans before the Easter bunny comes and he leaves his magic and then the next day they're suckers. Okay, that is super fun. <laughs> that is super fun. Sounds like so much fun. I like that a lot. I know, right? Wait, I've never been that clever, so good job. That is so sweet. And Julie says that they, do, they also do an Easter tree. Yeah, I feel like so many of us have a little Easter tree. Okay, that tree is so good because when it's Valentine's Day, I hang little hearts on it. Aww. And when it's Christmas, um, I hang other little things on it. I have little Sweet. wooden ornaments for all of it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm cutting the inside of the bunny ears. Okay. Okay. And again, I'm just using my little six by six mat because I can. That makes it so easy. Okay, then, all right, what other traditions do we have? Yes, Sandy does ham dinner with the family. We're having dinner with the family as well. Uh, what do you, do you guys usually have the same We thing? usually have ham and twice baked potatoes. Oh yeah. We Mostly we have strawberry shortcake. 
Ah, yes. Which is the, the required dessert at our house. Absolutely, yeah, perfect in the spring. All right, before we go on, let's show you how to make bunny ears. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, right here, right? Um, you just wanna have them come down a little bit, make sure they're even. Actually, there you go. Okay, and so what I do is um, I'm gonna put some hot glue right here sure. on the bunny ear, and then I'm gonna add the mask, and then we'll add the gray. Perfect. Thanks to our team who glue, plugged in the hot glue gun. Holy smokes, it's screaming hot over here. <laughs> All right, what else do they have, Emily? What are people doing? Yes, Easter basket, says Janet. Yes. Um, Shane did coloring eggs. Um, oh, Robin loves eating chocolate on Easter. Every Easter. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, all of, they hide candy and eggs all over their home, which is oh, fun. fun. I always, now do you do the plastic eggs or the real eggs when you do hunt? We do stuff? plastic eggs. Okay. Oh, well we color real eggs and then we eat deviled eggs for days. <laughs> I right? love deviled eggs. Yeah. That's the perfect, I never, I never thought to do that at my house. Ooh, hot glue. That's how you know you're a crafter boy. Stick your fingers <laughs> on hot glue. Okay. Exactly. It's like a So right what I'm graphic. doing is I'm just adding a little hot glue to our little inside of our Easter bunnies. And there's a little bit of um, glue that's coming out, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on there. Oh, Emily, I should have cut one for you. I have glitter craft foam. <gasps> we'll cut one for you later. Oh, yes, please. Okay. So <laughs> here is our basic mask. Be sure to join Eric and me on Friday, April 1st. I know, no fools. It's true. 12 noon central time for a celebration of AccuQuilt's anniversary. We are gonna have so much fun. We're gonna share project ideas and inspiration. Register for this show for the chance to win exciting door prizes and to be entered into our sweepstakes, okay? Okay, so here is the basic bunny mask. So for Oakley's, um, I just used a whole bunch of like flower power and fun flowers, those dyes. Fun flowers, not flower power. But this one, I want to do like a little, a uh, little hat, little top hat. So I am going to cut. Which color shall I cut him? Ooh. Let's cut purple. Oh yeah, purple's my okay. favorite. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm going to cut a little bit of that. And again, whatever you want to do, you can use bows and hats. This is the holiday accessories die. Mm -hmm. um, you could use the bows from the bow die if you wanted to. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna put them right there. Look oh, how cute is that? I know, so you could do all sorts of other things. You could add little circles to them or however you want to decorate your bunny masks. So then to finish them, I have these, um, <laughs> We call these weapons at our house because anything <laughs> you can fight with. Um, just little wooden dowels. And if you wanted to add that to it, you could just hot glue it here and add it to the side. Um, I, I'm going to embellish this a little more for Damien. I'm going to put some circles and some fun things there. But he doesn't like the wooden ones, so I'm going to hot glue just the eye mask. Oh, sure. Or the face mask, you oh, know, yeah, for like the little, little yep, ears. those little um, face mask. Loops? What are those called? Loops. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so if you're making um, bunny masks, please share them with us. We would love to see it. Now you could also think about um, some other dyes like stems and leaves. If you wanted to add whiskers, we had a big discussion about whether or not it should have whiskers. Here, I'll show you here. Um, I decided it didn't need whiskers. Well, but you could. You could do it. You could. All right. Or like a little mustache. Or a little mustache. See, already Emily's thinking about it. I'll let oh, you yeah. help me decorate Damien's for yes, us. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put these over here. And why is AccuQuilt Fabric Cutter better than rotary cutting? Okay, first of all, imagine trying to cut the eye mask die out and then the flowers and all of the shapes. AccuQuilt not only is going to be accurate every time, but so much faster, 90% faster. All right, don't forget our exclusive promo today is spring 35, 35% off your order. And um, if you spend more than $100 or more, we're gonna add some extra discount to it up to 41%.
Don't forget today I'm giving away one of our eye mask dies. Be sure to register for all of our future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. Now, before we talk about our fun little table topper that we're gonna make for spring, let me show you some samples of four purchase embroidery sam uh, samples that are perfect for spring projects. All right, so I have a whole tray of them here. Ooh, painter's tape. Okay, ooh, I'm gonna show them up here so then you won't get to see them there. It'll be a surprise. Ooh. All right, so first is Overall Sam and Sunbonnet Sue. Both part of the sale today. Both part of the sale today. They're part of that spring 35. These are from our good friends at V-Stitch. And again, they're super cute. They added the bows and the hats and the baskets. This one is so cute because it adds the carrots. Yes, that's right? so sweet. Yep. So somebody at soon overall, Sam, do you have a price on those? Or are yes. they just part of that spring 35? So 29.24 for each of those dies. Excellent. Not bad at all. <laughs> Excellent. I know, you have all the things over there. It's a great day to collect. It is. All right, this is our Go Spring Medley die. Mm -hmm. It has the chick and the basket and the eggs and the bunny. And the basket actually, this cuts out. Remember we have free embroidery files for all of our applique shapes, okay? So here's the uh, free ones. Here is the blanket stitch. Here's that pretty satin stitch. And then here's the blanket stitch. Oh, how okay. Sweet. And remember, if you don't have an embroidery machine, no worries. You could do Raj quilting. You could do Oliver quilting. You could use a decorative stitch from your machine. Mm -hmm. But look at these ones that are for purchase. This one is super cute. It's just the eggs. Oh my god! And it says Happy Easter. <laughs> and chicks and eggs. Um, I actually have this on a tea towel for Oakley. I think it's darling. Oh, and then this one is actually one of my favorites because it has the basket with the little ribbon and the Easter bunny. I can Again, see. these are all available on our AccuQuilt website. So cute. I can see any of those on baby quilts too. Right? Or tea towels or baskets, you know, if you have fabric baskets that you're making. And tea towels are such a great gift too. They are. So this is our gnome. And here's our cute little tea towel we made with our gnome. His uh, beard is furry. It's felt, <laughs> so it's super cute. And again, the basket, so you could put your gnome in your basket. Look at these ones from V-Stitch, though. Wow. Look at it with the cute little eggs. They just do such an unbelievable do job. No, thank you to our friends at V-Stitch. And this one I love because it has a carrot in his pocket. <laughs> and jelly beans, okay. And is the gnome on sales part of that spring 35? It absolutely is, $25.99. And you know, if you get, again, if your total is over $100, you're gonna get an extra 10% off or up to 41% off those dies. Right. So today's a really great time. All right, and then the last one, this is our Go Train. And we have quite a few embroidery files um, on our website that change it up. There's one that's like the Christmas train, yes. but look at this one for Easter. This oh is gosh. super cute. Okay, so the bunnies drive in the train and the bunnies are here in the car. And our good friend who works for UP would be so sad that I didn't know what kind of, what kind of, is this a tanker? A tanker, I think that's Yeah, there we go. Be, yeah. But look at how fun the um, stitching is on it. Oh, it's amazing. So this is our Go Train die. You can use it for spring. You can use it for um, Christmas. How much is our? The train, $51.99. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And all of the dies that I showed you today will fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. They sure will. All righty. So now we're going to make the super fun table topper, which is hanging behind Emily. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to need is the 12 inch mix and match cube. It's a free pattern at HackyQuilt.com. Now, from the cube, you're going to need shapes one, three, two, and five. And I've already pulled the dies that we're gonna use. We have tons of videos on our website and YouTube pages mm -hmm. on how to use our cube system. So check them out if you need more information on how you need, how they work. All right, so this bunny block, here is the best part of this bunny block. You can make it from a fat quarter. All right, when I designed the pattern, I used my 12 inch cube. Emily, could they use their different size cube? What if they have an eight inch cube? Sure. 
Could they use their nine inch cube? Well, why not? Right, you would just, if you wanted to make it bigger, you would just add more blocks. Exactly. Okay, that's the question people ask. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna lay this out real quick, and then we're gonna ask Emily what, if they have questions, and then our Easter, tra Easter traditions. Absolutely. Okay, so here's some fat quarters. I have quite a few at my house. Okay. Now I'm gonna, I laid this out purposely like this so you could see that I truly did only use a fat quarter. Wow. And what I'm gonna do is give you a little tip on how to get your fabric and use it. The thing that I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these little pieces because I'm making little, um, I'm making a temperature quilt, first of all. That's right. And then crumb quilts. Okay. Oh, this will be perfect. I remember you talking about the temperature quilts. That's a, in Nebraska. Yes. It's going to be a really interesting one. Yes. <laughs> will you run over there and cut me eight inches of white fabric? Eight inches of white yes. fabric. You I just it. realized that in all of my prep for today, I didn't get the white blocks. We'll get it. Emily will get it for us. White fabric. Okay. Yep. Do you see it right there, Emily? In the corner. Keep going all the way in the back. All right. So let me talk about this. You're gonna need five of shape number one, which are squares, right? So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need three of our shape number twos, one, two, three, which are smaller squares. We're gonna need two half square triangles that finish to three inches. And then this one is our big shape number three, which are half square triangles, okay? So the order in which you cut them is important. You always wanna make sure that you cut your biggest pieces first. Because if I cut my smaller pieces first, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna use some of this big chunk of fabric that I don't want to use. Thank you, dear. And then what's gonna happen is then I'm not gonna have enough for, thank you. Look at Emily, she can multitask and help me out here. I'm not gonna have enough for the big shapes, okay? So the first thing you wanna cut are those half square triangles. And you're gonna need two of them for our project today. And there are two on the die board. So keep that in mind, quilters. Sometimes um, we have more than one shape on a die board. Okay, so I only need two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here in the corner. Oh, let's talk about this, because this is super cool. I left the salvage on. We always talk about lengthwise grain going back and forth through the cutter, mm -hmm. right? This, the salvage edge, this is the lengthwise grain. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here in the corner and you can subcut your fabric if you want to, but I'm using my Go Big today, so I don't need to. So I'm gonna put on a 10 by 10 cutting mat. It comes with your cube, okay? And then I don't have to worry about the rest of this fabric, right, because there are no blades in the cutter, only in the die. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna take it right here. I'm gonna run it through my Go Big. All right, Emily, while it's cutting, tell us what people are doing. Yeah, and we have a few questions, too, about the dies. Patty's actually wondering, can you cut double knit with our dies? Ooh, I have never done that. Here's what I think is going to happen. I think it's going to shred. Oh, yeah, because it's right? that. Because knit fabric will do that. Sure. Okay. All right, so give it some love. Slide, don't lift. Look at those perfect half square triangles. <gasps> Look, we cut off the dog ears. They're gonna be perfect. Fun. All right, so now I'm done with this shape, so I'm gonna put it over here. The next big shape I'm gonna cut are going to be my squares. So again, this is our videos live in our Facebook page and YouTube channel, so you can always come back and watch it. So that way you can see how I did this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here to the corner and I'm gonna cut three of our squares. Okay, so here we go. And I'm just gonna fan fold and I'm gonna come right to the edge. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm gonna come right to the edge is because then there will be enough space in the middle for my other shapes. 
perfect. I just love the fact that every quilter has fat quarters. Do you have fat quarters, Emily? I don't yet. Oh, sweetie, we gotta work on that. <laughs> I should give you mine that is here today and then you can say you have some, okay? Okay. Again, I this is the lengthwise grain, okay. right? And because I want it to go through the cutter first, is it okay to turn it this way? Yeah, the label's gonna be, oh, right here at my belly. Look at that. And look, lengthwise grain. There it is. Okay. All right, Emily, do we have questions? Yes, we have, actually, no, we have really fun answers to the question of the day. Okay, I'm listening. We ha Okay, so Connie likes making Ukrainian dyed Easter eggs. Okay. I think that those are the ones where they're like multiple layers of colors, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen those? I have not. Where, okay, so some Easter egg artists will take a, uh, a wax crayon and okay. they'll do one layer of one color and draw a design and then they'll do another layer of the wax and dip it in a different color and it turns out to Super be these cool. really, yeah, I'll have to find some pictures the walls okay. can put up. Now I need a total of five squares so I've cut my three here, right? And again, I want to keep this center for my smaller squares right. so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come right here, I'm going to line up my fabric lengthwise green. Remember the dies are the shape on the die is at an angle mm -hmm. because as it goes through the cutter, um, then it just captures a corner of it. All right, it's like speed bumps. Exactly. Okay. This is such a fun like weekend project. You could make it this afternoon quilters, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh here, it helps if I turn my cutter on. All right, Emily, what else are people doing? Well, I love Norma's answer. My Easter tradition is cracking a hollow colored egg filled with confetti on my siblings' heads. Yeah, we have those fun. at our house. We have confetti <laughs> eggs, which is fun. That does sound like a blast. Okay, so there's those, and I'm gonna still need this, and I'm gonna need my half square triangle um, for the weight. All right, now look at this fat quarter. Ta-da, ta-da. Okay, so the biggest shape that I have to cut then next are the half square triangles, okay? So again, I'm gonna find that lengthwise green, nice and tight. I only need one of these, but it cuts two, so I'm gonna let it cut two. Okay, okay. here you go. And when I did this quilters um, for my pieces, I actually did just cut one color at a time. Mm, okay. I mean, you can always cut six layers of fabric, but then I made sure that I had all the pieces from this fat quarter. And speaking of fabric, you know how we were talking about cutting the double knit? Yes. Trish says in the comments, she's actually cut knit and it did okay. Peggy has done minky, but probably start with like one, maybe two layers max with those oh, if you're okay. gonna try them. Okay. So, but yeah. Okay, see, look at our quilters, no one's stuff. I know. All right, right, so now look, I have just enough here in the middle to come right down here in the middle and I need three of these. This is gonna be that corner that's gonna come through. And I'm actually quilters, because I don't, you, you can see it now. I'm actually gonna cut off these little edges as it goes through the gutter. <laughs> it just, just works a little better there. Exactly. Now that I love all of the things you can cut with our dies, right? You can cut, you know, craft foam and flannel and felt and minky and, you know, double knit if you wanted to. So cool. There we go. All right, let me make sure I don't have any questions. Ooh, um, Patsy's wondering about putting a stabilizer on the fabric and then cutting. Is that okay? Yeah, totally. Perfect. Yeah, you can't cut six layers, but there you go. And look, quilters, ta-da. Just one fat quarter and I had some left over. Look at I know, that. I think that that's one of the fun things is I'm always trying to look of ways to find um, ways to use up, you know, pre-cuts. And don't forget our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. You can come back and watch them if you can. Mm -hmm. Emily, while I lay my fabric on my white, will you tell everyone about our blog? Absolutely, yeah. We have a fantastic blog. So it's our go-getters as well as AccuQuilt folks who write our blog. Um, it has exclusive patterns, um, some really great tips and tricks from the experts that you guys don't want to miss. So definitely check it out. And what's on the blog this week? Do you know? You know, I can pull it up in about two seconds. Oh, I just wondered seconds. if you knew. We talked about it yesterday, but it was yesterday. That's I've right. I've slept since then. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, again, I just need then. one 
of my, uh, well, for the whole project, you're gonna need four half square triangles. Um, so I'm just gonna cut two. That's right, paper piecing on the blog today. It is what? English paper piecing. Oh what yes, this is what we did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, I tell ya, give it some love, slide don't lift. Now I have perfect half square triangles. I just need one for my project and I'm gonna need one um, square, big square. So again, look quilters, if I'm using my go big, I don't have to worry about sub cutting, mm -hmm. right? So I can just take this fabric and put it right next to the die. You don't wanna put it over the top. You don't wanna put it over there, um, over the top or otherwise it's gonna catch as it goes through the cutter. Yeah, those rollers aren't okay. gonna be happy. <laughs> Here we go, slide don't lift. All right, and now let's cut our little guys. Okay. All right, Emily, do other people have traditions? Yes. I'm excited should. about this. I know, this is really, really fun. I love these answers. Um, actually, um, oh, where was it? She was talking about um, adult Easter baskets. So they hid, um, Last year, yeah, had an adult hunt after the grandkids had theirs. They made bunny bags, and in them were single-sized little fancy liqueurs that you could find. Oh, how fun. That would be so much fun. How fun is that? That's very clever, Pam. That's by Pam. Oh, Another thank you, Pam. Pam. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so I don't need any white squares. I just need half squares. I'm mm -hmm. looking at my pattern to make sure. All right, now I'm going to take all of my dies and move them off the set. Okay, so think of how you can use your pre-cuts quilters. And again, we're using our 12 inch cube. You could use your 10 inch cube. I do like the size of this mm -hmm. one. And the 12 inch cube that can fit in the go cutter, which is it great. can, it or can the fit go in big. our go and our go big, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And is that cube on sale today? Oh my gosh, yes. So because it is, um, you know, is over $100, it also qualifies for the additional 10% off. So you're going to get it for $181.35 today. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to lay out my bunny block. It's going to be the same block. You're just going to lay them out together. Um, okay, so now that we've done all the hard work, right? Look how fast we cut that out. Holy smokes. It's amazing. I know, could you imagine doing all of this by hand? And, no. No. Never. And you just- I, for a long time, cut, you know, because before I worked here, um, yeah. cut half square triangles by hand. What a nightmare. I know. I can't, I think I cut like, you know, several hundred squares and half square triangles for this Ohio star quilt. And it just, it took, you know, just such, such little time. I was oh, thinking see? to myself about all the dog ears. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, think about how long it would take you to have done that, right, without yeah. a die. Yeah, I would have given up after yeah. like an hour. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so here's our bunny ears. I'm making sure they're going the right way. Love it. They are. Um, Brock thought they were kittens, but I, I, I can tell him it's okay now. I could even see them being wings. I could totally. Yeah, you could like, totally make different shapes with them. You totally could. The possibilities are endless. Okay. And I want my little bunny to have its little corner here. Okay. So always, always lay out your block. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start by chain piecing for days. I think my iron is on. Ooh, it is. And I'm gonna start by sewing these half square triangles together and creating this block. And then I'm gonna sew these half square triangles together. Mm. And then you're just gonna sew your rows together. Okay? There you go. All right, so Emily, while I'm sewing, cause that's what we gotta watch we do now. <laughs> Tell us what people are doing for their Easter. Sure, yeah, Brenda's doing crayfish boils and kiddo hunt eggs in the yard, depending on the weather. But yeah, it depends on the weather here in Nebraska. Sometimes it's, pretty darn cold. Mm -hmm. But a crayfish boil, oh my gosh. Have you ever done crayfish a low country boil? Crayfish boil delicious, by the way. <laughs> it really does. Okay, so I'm gonna sew those half square triangles. I'm gonna sew my two squares together. Okay. Go ahead, Emily, sorry, I'm yeah. just giving instructions here. And Danette, um, her so she says, my husband and I deliver Easter baskets to my mother-in-law and grandparents before the sun comes up so they find them when they wake. Ah, that's so thoughtful. 
Well, okay, during COVID, we have a couple of neighbors that live in our neighborhood. Hold on, I'll tell you the story in just a second. I have to make sure I leave this out right. right. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna press to the dark side. Quilters asked me, how do I know which way to press? Um, if it's just half square triangles, I'm gonna press to the dark side. If it's rows, I'm gonna press in opposite directions so those blocks lay flat. Okay. So during COVID, um, we have quite a few neighbors who are um, just by themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and it was COVID, and so we didn't really wanna, you know, bring them food we had made. Sure. So I took our go stocking die and I cut it out of Easter fabric and Easter colors. And then I had Oakley help me and we just took prepackaged candy and put them in little Easter eggs and we delivered Easter stockings. Oh my gosh, how cute yeah. is that? It's just really a fun way to do that. Just goes to show you, and I think the stocking die might be part of the sale. That oh, would be I'm sure that it is. Listen, round. if you don't have the stocking die, you need to, because yeah. it is so nice. All right, so here's my little corner block. I'm gonna press in opposite directions. Okay, so they, they lay flat. All right. Don't yeah. forget about our sale today. We're excited about our yeah. sale. Oh my gosh, yeah, the stocking die would only be $71.49 with the Oh, discount. the stocking die is one of our best project dies. I just think it's great. I love them too. Okay. They're super fun. And All right, what? now I've pressed in opposite directions, so when I go sew this together, this seam is gonna lay flat. Mm -hmm. Flat is what you want in a quilt. You don't want bumps and tucks and such. Exactly. Um, this weekend, Emily, I will be watching much basketball. <gasps> That's exciting. And sewing. I know. So All the things that didn't happen last weekend is because I watched basketball. Are your teams like still in it? Um, okay, so yes, one team still is. Okay. Um, okay, listen, if you're watching from New Jersey, cool shout out to the Peacocks for making it so far as they did. <laughs> um, but Villanova is one of my teams, so way to go, Villanova. Ooh. I know. Oh, uh, Brock's already talking about her. They're going to lose. But uh, North Carolina plays Duke, which is like a, it never happened before, right? Has that never happened before? Not, not oh. ever in the NCAA tournament. Wow. My sister Betsy is in such a conundrum. She loves them both. Okay, <laughs> here's the corner of my bunny. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew my rows together. Again, chain piecing for days. Once you have all your pieces cut, you can chain piece all your bunny pieces. Okay. All righty, Emily, what else are people doing? I love this. So uh, Jacqueline's Easter tradition for 62 years. 62 years? Yes, they've done this for 62 years. Gotten chocolate Easter bunnies from the hometown candy maker, Saris Candy. She said, we started when Mr. Harris, Mr. Saris made chocolate out of his basement and now order from all over the country. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so sweet? Okay, huge shout out to the hometown candy maker. Oh, Absolutely. look here, I'm gonna sew my half square triangles together. I know, I might have to check their website. <laughs> shout out to chocolate I on Easter. Love. Homemade, I love homemade chocolate and homemade candies. Me too. Every time I'm at the furniture mart with my mom, I always have to get a C's candy. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. 62 years you win. That's the best tradition. That is. All that right. Is what so else? Cool. Um, Noreen uh, does Easter, uh, does sunrise church service and then makes Fabergé type eggs. Wow. People are so fancy. Wow. That I saw, is so cool. When my kids got older, mm -hmm. um, we would hide money in Easter eggs. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That now, we still do, because they're older. But. Oh, and we've got folks Oakley, talking about. Oakley's up for cash. She, <laughs> she's never going to turn down dollars in her Easter basket. Anytime, right? Right. And do, does she get a, like a spring outfit, like an Easter outfit? Oh, yeah. And yeah. yeah, she does. And um, it's just so fun just so fun but again here in Nebraska it could be snowing on Easter exactly yeah you never know what's okay. gonna happen all right so I'm gonna press these to the dark side then I can finish my rows love that 
Yeah, Deb does does a traditional. She goes to church and then the family gathers together for dinner. Yeah. Um, oh, M. Louise's tradition is Passover. Oh, there you go. There we go. What do you do for Passover? We'd love to hear. Absolutely. Um, oh yeah, and Peggy also does an Easter tree and dyes eggs. And I've never heard of this before, but Jennifer says she dyes eggs with rubber bands. I have heard of that, where you cover them and then so you do like a lighter color and then take some of the bands off and so other cool. colors. Like stripey kind of look. Yeah, kind of. Okay, of. that's yeah. really, really neat. I've heard of, t of using ties. Right, old neckties. Yeah, old neckties and you like wrap them around. Yeah, okay, I, it is all I can do to get all the people at my house to just sit still and do eggs, so. <laughs> okay, all right, so now I've done these sections. Look how fast this is going. Wow. All right. This is so fun. I know, they're just, they're just funny. And we um, always, always, always have to have strawberry shortcake with angel food cake. Yeah. That is like sacred at our house. See, my dad has, in recent years past, he has gotten um, into making uh, like homemade biscuits. Oh, so we'll do yum. homemade biscuits with strawberries and whipped cream, and that's our version of strawberry shortcake. There you go. It's, it's so good. There you go. Yeah, nice buttery biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, those sound delicious. Yeah. That's truly shortcake, right? Back yeah. in the day when I was a kid, my mom made strawberry shortcake like that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, my dad's this, this awesome baker. It's so fun. He does a um, pear tart at Christmas too. That's one oh of gosh. his, I know, right? We always end up talking about food. <laughs> we always do. <laughs> well, one time we're gonna ask what's everybody's favorite drink to drink with. Emily, what is your favorite drink to have on the set? You know, I, I'm always, I usually have like a Coca-Cola just to have a little bit of, you know, give me a little sugar rush before we get on camera. A little sugar before we get on camera. But if I'm like quilting or working or hanging out at home, I love, Okay, coffee, this is, I, I don't know if this is gonna be dorky, but I have um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Coffee Mate. Like the, the Cinnamon sugar, Toast Crunch, like the cereal? Like the cereal, yeah, they make it into a coffee creamer and I cannot get enough of it. It's, it just okay. gets me up, I know. There you go. My little antioxidant bye water sounds so boring compared to cinnamon toast crunch. See, but coffee make antioxidants. Coffee creamer. Look at you being healthy. Well, I just try really hard to drink water every now and then. I'll drink a diet of Pepsi. Uh huh. But I know. mostly I drink water. Um. Okay. Yeah. It's, I'm very look our bennies. Okay, oh, yeah. so now I'm gonna um, press them in opposite directions so that they lay flat right. and actually I am going to press yeah I'm going to press so they lay flat all right Emily what else are people doing down there this is really fun Connie says when my kids were little they always found an Easter basket in the living room filled with new shirt sets and a new swimsuit and beach towel with plastic eggs hidden in the living room with candy and money okay you must live in Florida yeah she must be somewhere in a nice <laughs> or in in a southern California climate. yeah exactly <laughs> Holy smokes. That's amazing. <laughs> that's fun. I mean, I feel like that's really good um, wishful thinking here in the great state of Nebraska, but holy smokes. Absolutely. Uh, when we get to Mother's Day, um, we have a great Mother's Day tradition. The men at my house plant flowers. Oh, that's they come fun. come and I make lunch for them and they come and I have all the stuff purchased um, because those three guys can do more work, you know, in an afternoon than I can in a month. Sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I've got an interesting question from Loanne, and I'm I'm I want to make sure that I'm reading it um, properly. So she's asking, how do you find how to make the clear frame to fussy cut? When oh. Videos? She says she's gone on YouTube and, Acu and on the blog. Is there a, do is there a video that we have? Um, yes, so one day <laughs> we showed you how to fussy cut. And what I did is I went to um, the office supply store mm -hmm. and got plastic uh, templates. Okay, they're just clear plastic sheets. Oh, okay. And then what you can do is you can tape them to your um, die. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gotta fix that. You can tape them to your die 
and then when you lay the fabric, you can um, trace it, right? Okay. And then when you lay that over the fabric, then you can see where you want to fussy cut. I see. Okay, that's a I really think cool this trick. Was like last week on the last. I know, and it's like you just went last to the doctor, theme. Faf. What's going on, man? On the last seam of the day. <laughs> it's okay. We got it. We got it. We're going to oh do it goodness. while people tell us. But that's a great yeah. question. Um, we've done a couple of videos on how to fussy cut. Just because I think it's really fun mm -hmm. to have fabric that you can do that with. Yeah. Right? And speaking of, of fabric, Lynette's wondering, are fat quarters a good way for most patterns as a general rule? Um, I would say yes as a general rule. Okay. A fat quarter measures 18 by 21 inches. So what they've done is they've cut a half a yard with the fabric and then they cut it in half. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's 18 by 21 inches and typically fabric is 42 inches. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I have a lot of projects that I've made with fat quarters. Just yes. So the answer to that is yes. Awesome. Okay. And they're great because lots of times you can go and get fat quarters. Um, I was at a quilt shop in um, New York, in Aurora, at Aurora Sewing, and they had, one day I was there teaching a class, and they had fat quarters um, 10 for $20. Oh, wow. So I got 10 fat quarters That's that a day. nice deal. Yeah. So they're bigger than a quarter yard cut because they're cut differently. If that makes sense. Gotcha. Yeah, no, that makes total sense. Um, Coral's wondering too when. Oh, I, I like them because you can get a variety of colors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You don't have to get the same. Like if you get a half yard, you have the half yard. Right. Right? Okay. All right, look at this. Here's our cute little bunny block. All right. Now, this one is super fun because it measures 18 inches. Um, you could make it for a pillow. You could make it for a table topper. Mm -hmm. You do all sorts of fun things. To finish your bunny, use Rick Rack. I used Rick Rack um, for the whiskers, and then I used buttons from the eyes. But you could app applique shapes if you didn't want buttons, mm -hmm. all right? So it just depends on what you want to have. Be sure and share your finished projects with us on our social media pages. You're going to be making bunnies for days. Don't forget to join Lynn and Eric and me on April 5th as we release the newest dye to try just in time for spring. Be sure to register in the link for the chance to win prizes and to be entered into the sweepstakes for those AccuQuote reward points or dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't forget our promo today, 35% off your order. Use that code SPRING35. Spend $100 or more and we're going to take an additional amount up to 41% off. All right, Miss Emily, do you want to announce our winner for today? They're going to win our eye mask dye so they can make bunnies. Ooh, that's exciting. I would love to do that. All right, today our lucky winner is, drum roll please, Paula P. from Homer, New York. Congratulations, Paula. Thanks so much. We're so glad you won. We'll, um, Emily will reach out to you. We'll get you an eye mask dye. Woohoo! Don't forget to join us next Wednesday for AccuQuote Live. We're going to use that brand new Go Dye to try for the month of April. You're going to love it. I have a really fun project we're going to make. Exciting. All right, on behalf of our entire team. So off-site, we have Morgan and Lauren, who gets an extra shout-out today because she helped me with a little problem I had this morning. In the Dream Studio here, we have Brock and Justin and Joe and Emily. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. I'll see you back here on Friday and Monday, or Friday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. Mm -hmm.